Kate Middleton has had enough of Meghan Markle coming for her, and it looks like Kate is about to pull out all the receipts. This really isn't something that we're going to be able to change quickly. I won the case, and this issue, frankly, has been going on when I had no children at all. Melody, I now have two children, as you know, so it's an arduous process, but again, it's just me standing up for what's right, which I think is important across the, uh, across the board. Meghan Markle and her husband, Prince Harry, have a new Netflix documentary out, and they're now getting a ton of backlash for disrespecting the royal family and spreading lies about Kate Middleton. Even when Will and Kate came over, and I had met her for the first time, they came over for dinner, I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot, like I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger, I didn't realize that that is really a jarring for a lot of Brits. And while Kate never comments on the royal gossip, insiders are now saying that Meghan's documentary was the final straw for Kate and that she wants to expose Meghan's lies with receipts. But what exactly did Meghan lie about? And does Kate really have the receipts to destroy Meghan? Let's get into it. To give you some context first, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle's relationship reportedly started off well. But then, after Meghan and Harry left the royal family and moved to the US, Meghan suddenly started dropping hints left and right about Kate being cold and unwelcome. For example, during her first interview with Harry, Meghan claimed Harry's whole family was incredibly welcoming, and both Meghan and Harry praised Kate and William for accepting Meghan as one of their own. He's been so welcoming and... and You've met quite a few of them, actually. I have, on both sides of his family, his mom's yeah. side as well, which has been really important to me too, but um, yes, the family has been great, and over the past year and a half, we've just had a really nice time getting to know them and progressively helping me feel a part of, of not just the mm -hmm. institution, but also part of the family, which has been really, um, really special. And William was longing to meet her, and so was Catherine, so, you know, they are neighbours, we managed to get, get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now, um, and Catherine's been absolutely um, been wonderful. amazing, as is William as well, you know, fantastic support. Back then, insiders close to Meghan were constantly running to the media with stories about Kate and Meghan's sisterhood. However, after Harry and Meghan's infamous exit from the royal family in 2020, suddenly the US tabloids started spreading rumors about Kate's alleged animosity towards Meghan. But there was never any real proof of Kate being rude to Meghan. In fact, multiple stories emerged about Meghan being the mean one. According to former BBC journalist Tom Bauer, Meghan even made Kate cry ahead of Harry and Meghan's wedding and made inappropriate comments about Kate's daughter, Princess Charlotte. Kate apparently wanted the little bridesmaids to wear tights for practical reasons, while Meghan insisted the bridesmaids shouldn't wear tights. Kate Middleton allegedly burst into tears after <sighs> Meghan Markle compared Princess Charlotte unfavorably to her best friend Jessica Mulroney's daughter during a bridesmaid fitting ahead of the royal wedding. Mind you, this happened just weeks after Kate had just given birth to Prince Louis, and Bauer said that on top of being in a vulnerable state post-delivery, Kate was also irritated by complaints of Meghan bullying her staff. Meghan, however, denied all of this, and in her March 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, she claimed that the opposite happened and that Kate made her started doubting Meghan's woe-is-me narrative, with many of them pointing out that it's hard to imagine Kate Middleton making anyone cry. Royal author and Buckingham Palace expert Katie Nichol later said that Kate Kate was absolutely horrified that Meghan publicly said she made her cry. Nicole explained that Meghan knew Kate was not in a position to respond to her version of the incident, which, by the way, has not been publicly verified by anyone else. And she added that behind closed doors, Kate was saddened, disappointed, and hurt by Meghan's comments. But it now looks like Kate has had enough of staying silent while Meghan keeps running to the press to play the victim. So as you all probably know, Meghan and Harry are currently facing major backlash for releasing an explosive documentary on Netflix and disrespecting the royal family. Kate reportedly took issue with the way Meghan twisted a lot of details to fit her own narrative in the documentary, and several sources have said that Kate now wants to do a tell-all interview and shut down Meghan with receipts. But what exactly did Meghan say in the documentary that triggered Kate? Well, to start with, the whole documentary highlighted the way Meghan is an expert at gaslighting the public because she said the doc needed to be made so that she and Harry could finally tell their side of the story. When the stakes were this high, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us? But this makes no sense because Meghan and Harry already told their story to millions on Oprah's show. And Meghan also has a Spotify podcast, Archetypes, where she's doing a lot more talking than her guests. On top of that, many fans slammed Meghan and Harry for being completely tone deaf about all sorts of issues they claim to care about. The fact that they chose to release a documentary about how difficult their privileged lives are in the middle of a global economic crisis simply doesn't sit well with a lot of people, especially since we've already 
heard them complain about these same things countless times over the past few years, and the documentary really doesn't reveal anything new. However, what made Kate especially upset about this documentary is that Megan tried to present her as cold and uncaring, and the documentary made it look like Kate never had to face any public scrutiny herself. But if you were on the internet back when William and Kate were still dating, you'd know that the British press were absolutely brutal to Kate, calling her weighty Kate and constantly body shaming her. But Meghan actually dismissed Kate's struggle in her interview with Oprah, claiming it's simply not the same and that she had it much worse. Because it's, this was different, you know. It was different because, different because of the race. And social media. And social media. Oh, yeah. Right? Different time. That, that different time. That didn't exist. And so it was like the wild, wild west. It was mm -hmm. spread like wildfire. Plus, my being American, it translated in a different way across the pond. So you had a noise level that was very different, but if they can't see that it's different. And then in her new Netflix documentary, Megan also took a swipe at Kate by claiming that William and Kate were both very formal behind closed doors and that Kate didn't want to hug her the first time they met. Even when Will and Kate came over and I had met her for the first time, they came over for dinner. I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot. It's like I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that that is really a jarring for a lot of Brits. But see, there are actually countless examples of Kate being warm and affectionate with her friends and family. And many fans are now calling out Megan for being a narcissist who can't see that she's the real problem. One person wrote, someone needs to educate Megan about body autonomy and how nobody is required to hug you just because you're a hugger. William and Kate didn't even know you, but you're pissed they didn't want to hug it out? Girl, bye. On top of that, Kate and William are also said to be extremely upset over Megan's comments about the late Queen Elizabeth, particularly this cringy moment from the Netflix documentary, where Meghan claimed she didn't know how to curtsy in front of the Queen. Now I'm starting to realize this is a big deal. I mean, Americans will understand this. We have medieval times, dinner and tournament. It was like that. Like, I curtsied as though I was like... <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. Like, was that okay? But as many fans pointed out, it's hard to believe that someone like Meghan, international relations major who was educated at a top university, didn't know curtsying is a real thing in the UK, or she wouldn't at least try to research it beforehand. Many fans also slammed Meghan for pulling all Americans into her alleged ignorance about the British royal family, especially since countless American celebs met the Queen before Meghan. So for her to claim that all Americans would act clueless in her place is just embarrassing. Besides that, Kate and William were reportedly shocked to see Meghan and Harry using the narrative around the late Princess Diana in the documentary and comparing Diana to Meghan. So much of what Meghan is and how she is is so similar to my mom. Harry emphasized many times in the documentary that he is his mother's son, as if William doesn't exist. And then he proceeded to talk about how Meghan has so many similarities to Diana. She has the same compassion, she has the same empathy, she has the same confidence. She has this warmth about her. A lot of people who watched the documentary thought that this was just another attempt to paint Meghan as the kind and empathetic one and Kate as cold and uncaring. And then there's the fact that Meghan didn't actually get anywhere near the same kind of paparazzi harassment as Diana. And Netflix struggled so much to find the footage of photographers hounding Harry and Meghan that they actually ended up using stock footage from other red carpet events. So in the trailer for her, their Netflix special, yes. there's that shot of um, all the paparazzi, right? Yeah. Do you remember yeah. there's that amazing yeah. photo of like a hundred camera lenses. There it is. Yeah. That's from a Harry Potter premiere. <gasps> what? As in, that's not from... Nope. Hang on, that's in their doco. Yep, that's, oh. in, that's their in their doco. doco. As if they were all taking photos of them. That's at the Harry Potter premiere that neither of them were at. Oh my goodness. Oh. And now that all these fake details are being exposed about Meghan and Harry's documentary, we're hearing that Kate Middleton is seriously considering doing a tell-all interview and revealing the truth about her and Meghan's relationship. According to a recent report by In Touch Weekly, Kate has a ton of receipts to back up her side of the story, and she really thinks the public deserves to hear about the real Megan. One insider told In Touch, Kate's ammunition could potentially destroy Megan. The Princess of Wales has a stack of receipts which she accumulated over the years. However, Prince William has reportedly warned his wife to think twice before giving the green light to a potential interview, and he apparently thinks they should rely on the royal mantra to keep calm and carry on. In other words, Prince William will most likely continue to ignore Harry and Megan's antics and ask for Kate 